everybody has seen this kind of uh, physics toy. Um, but the thinking is, what if we scaled this up and made this bigger, maybe a lot bigger? One of the classic demonstrations is this Newton's Cradle. And uh, that was scaled up for our classroom uh, from sort of the desktop toy to having bowling balls suspended from the ceiling and doing that with bowling balls. And it just occurred to me, you know, can we do this bigger? And then randomly I saw these bubble suits. And it's kind of funny because when they run into each other, they, they bounce off each other in a, in a very elastic kind of way. And then those two things kind of came together. Yes, so here we have our diagram of uh, bubble suits in a line. We want the, the vertical height of the suspension, like the rope suspending the volunteers, to be much, much bigger than the diameter. Yeah, so I think logistically, I think a lot of the angles, a lot of the distances play out. I think everything seems like it's going, like testing seems like it's going well. SPS has been integral to my time here. We're so close, we're so tight, and we're able to do all this cool outreach and events. This Human Newton's Cradle is just showing how a lot of kids get excited about science, and then we come together and we figure out a way to do something that people haven't done before. Ideally, we're gonna have as little energy loss as possible, and then a ball at the end is gonna carry as much momentum as the first ball had bringing in. <laughs> okay, is it an experiment or a stunt? I think it's definitely got stunt elements to it, but I think I'm gonna have to go experiment just for the the Newton's cradleness of it. I think you gotta go experiment. I think it's a fusion of the two, right? So it's based on physical principles that all our students uh, study about, they learn about. Uh, but this is very much for show, right? I think everything worked out pretty well. We're just gonna try to run through it and execute it smoothly, ideally. We'll see.